guys, Memphis A90 here. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, today is Wednesday, April the 5th, and I don't know, right now you can probably, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually on my porch right now. Uh, I'm just sitting out here right now. Uh, it's actually kind of rainy outside today. I can kind of show you guys, but it's a little bit rainy outside today. Uh, but I hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and let me know how your day's going so far. Uh, so far, my day's okay. It would be kind of better if it wasn't raining today, but apparently it's supposed to rain all day. It actually was storming like earlier today. Uh, yeah, if you guys were in Chatham, and actually if you're like a lot of places in Ontario, um, it was actually, sorry, it was actually storming a lot earlier today. Um, it's still kind of raining outside. It's not as heavy as it was now, like it still kind of is a little bit, but yeah. It's still kind of raining, but it's okay. And it's actually, it's actually pretty warm outside today. Like I think right now it's like 17 degrees. Like wow. I know I'm out in a sweater, but it's only because it's like raining and all that. And it's a little breezy, but yeah, a little windy. So I'm just sitting out here right now. Uh, I told you guys I was going to vlog today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uploaded it on Sunday when I was uh, walking around. And that's the day I went to my cousin's house. If you guys haven't checked out Sunday's vlog, I'll put a link to it in the description down below if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, I was really hoping that today would be sunny and pretty warm outside. But I guess today is like raining and all that. Because... When I saw that today they were calling for rain, I was like, oh man, <laughs> right? I was like, oh man, but oh well. Uh, but it's not too bad right now. It's like a little bit rainy, but it's okay. Uh, I might, maybe I might go out for maybe like a little bit, like maybe for like a short walk, but I probably won't go out for too long. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, if it starts pouring again, I'll probably just go home and all that, but yeah. So this is not going to be a really long vlog, you guys. I um, just want to talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, so yeah. Um, and there's a chance that maybe one of the next vlogs might be in my house, guys. Because lately we've been having some kind of crappy weather in Chatham. So yeah. But I'm, I mean, at least it's not cold. Like At least it's actually like kind of nice outside. But I think it's only because of the humidity. Hence why it's been raining like almost all day. Because it's humidity probably. But yeah. But at least it's warm. Like, at least it's like 17 degrees. So at least it kind of feels like summer today, a little bit. But it's like spring weather, really. But, you know, you guys know the saying, you know, April showers bring May flowers. So I'm guessing that it's going to rain for April and then in May we'll hopefully get some nice sunnier weather. And hopefully by May we'll start having like sunny and warm weather in May, which I, I have a feeling we will. Like, especially like the end of May and all that. Like, especially like end of May, like when Victoria Day and my birthday and rims and ribs happens I'm, I'm really sure by then it's big like I'm sure by then it's gonna pretty much be summer at that point like it's <laughs> by the end of May it's gonna basically be summer at that point but yeah but since it's the beginning of April you know it's still like starting to get warmer out but you know it's still kind of getting chillier still like at nighttime but yeah uh, yesterday actually wasn't too bad like yesterday yesterday was okay like it was, it was kind of chilly yesterday, but yesterday actually wasn't too bad. Like, I was actually out of a sweater yesterday. Well, it actually was kind of warm yesterday. Like, I think yesterday was, like, maybe 15 degrees or 16 degrees. But, yeah, I was out in a sweater yesterday, and it actually wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, but later on yesterday, or last night, it got pretty windy, so, yeah. And then today it was, like, stormy and rainy and gloomy, but, yeah. Like, you guys can probably see, but it's pretty cloudy today. And that's also raining a little bit it looks like the, but i think the rain's actually supposed to stop for a little bit so maybe that time i might like go for a little walk like maybe around down the block or something or something like something like that but yeah but if it starts pouring again then i'll probably just go home and all that and i think they're calling for rain again tomorrow thursday so yeah however i heard that friday is supposed to be sunny it's supposed to be nice on friday it's supposed to be sunny so at least friday's gonna be not too bad and hopefully saturday will be okay as well but yeah, and uh, Easter is actually in four days, guys. So I hope you guys are really excited for Easter. I'm pretty excited for Easter. Uh, oh yeah, I get to have that turkey dinner on Sunday with my family. It's gonna be really good. I don't know how, about the weather though. I hope it's not too bad on Easter, but if it's raining on Easter, then oh well, right? Oh well. But yeah, uh, it's already the fifth day of April, which is crazy. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah also guys uh this is a little off topic but i'm just gonna change the subject really quick so apparently i heard that the band incubus i don't know if you guys heard of the band incubus 
But apparently the band Incubus is actually playing at the Coliseum at Caesars Windsor, I think in August. So yeah, uh, Incubus is going to be playing at Windsor in the summertime uh, in August. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's really cool, you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys so far are having a good day. So far, like I said, my day's okay. It would be kind of better if it wasn't raining, but, you know, what more can you do? It's rain, but, yeah. I might go out for a little bit, like, maybe for a little walk, so I might pause the video for now, and I'll talk to you guys again when we're probably out somewhere, maybe down the block, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so now I'm out for a walk right now. Uh, I'm over by the Mud Creek Trail right now. I'm at the little park by the Mud Creek Pathway. Uh, I did a vlog here before. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, last year in April, I did a vlog here at this uh, very spot here. Uh, but yeah. And yeah, you guys can probably tell I changed sweaters and I have a new hat on. So yeah, I decided to just wear a new sweater and decided to wear my Blue Jays hat. So yeah. And it has stopped raining. Uh, I was going to go to the other park, like way down there, but there's some people there, so I decided to go here. And there's no people here, so I figured it's good, so, yeah. And you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it kind of looks like that it's starting, to, that the sky's trying to clear up a little bit. Maybe a little bit. While the clouds down there, like, they look kind of grayish over there. Same with, like, over there. But, like, over here, if I can focus, the clouds actually don't look that bad over here. I really, I kind of really hope that the, the sky will clear up a little bit, and uh, hopefully it won't be bad for us today, but they are calling for rain like around 7 or 8 again, so, and I think it's supposed to rain like even tonight, so, yeah. Now I'm just hoping and praying that if the weather, hopefully the weather changes where we won't get any rain for in Chatham for the rest of today. Like, I hope that the weather changes and that the rain will go around Chatham. Like, it'll, like, just miss us instead of going over us. Because if it, if it actually ends up missing us and we don't get any more rain, maybe just, like, a light spit for the rest of tonight, then that, that even that would be, wouldn't be too bad. And I would actually be able to go out later tonight for a walk. So, yeah. So I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, but, you know, I can't really promise anything. So yeah, I'm just hanging out under here at this park. And it's not really much people walking down the pathway right now. And you guys can also tell the grass is really green. Damn. But yeah, there is like one car at the parking lot here, but it's not really anyone at the like playground area or sitting under here. But yeah, it's not too bad out here. I'm actually kind of glad that the weather, at least the temperature is actually not cold. At least it's not like a cold and rainy day, right? At least it's not a cold and rainy day. At least it's actually like a warm, like warm day, so that's good. I'm thinking maybe I might get a thumbnail here actually. Oh man. There you go. Had to get <laughs> had to brighten had to get the brightness up a little bit just so you guys can see me in the thumbnail. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I might do another vlog maybe on Friday, guys. I think the next vlog might be on Friday, and then after that will be the Easter vlog. So stay tuned for that. And if it's sunny on Friday, like if the weather's not too bad on Friday, then maybe the next vlog might be with Dustin. And then after that will be an Easter vlog where I'll just talk to you guys about Easter and all that. And I will definitely take a picture of my Easter dinner when I'm there on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's gonna be up on my um, up on my Instagram. So yeah. But yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad outside right here. I'm actually really hoping that the sky actually clears up and and hopefully it doesn't rain later. I'm really hoping that the cha the weather changes. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention in the beginning of the vlog that apparently earlier today, Chatham Ken was under a tornado watch. Yeah, we were under a tornado watch in Chatham earlier today, but the tornado watch ended now, so at least we don't have to worry about possible tornadoes now. And plus, we never really get tornadoes in Chatham anyways, so yeah, so we don't have to worry about tornadoes. Now, I'm just really hoping that maybe at least the severe thunderstorm warning would end. You know what I mean? I'd be I'd be glad if if they say like thunderstorm watch or warning ends in Chatham where we won't have another thunderstorm for the rest of today and we won't get any more rain. Because if it changes and the rain goes the other direction, like if it goes south or something, or just where it just doesn't go over Chatham, then that'd be pretty good. I'd be like, hey. 
So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I don't, th yeah, apparently it's not supposed to rain until like maybe seven. So I think I actually have some time to like walk around for a little bit and do all that stuff. But if it doesn't rain later, like for the rest of tonight, if it doesn't rain or anything, then maybe I might go out later and hopefully it won't be as cold still. But we will see what happens, right? But I will try and get this vlog up later tonight before midnight, so yeah. And like I said, the next vlog after this one will be on Friday, the 7th, so stay tuned for that. And then the one after that will be on Easter, the 9th, so yeah, pretty cool guys. Uh, so yeah, I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit. This vlog's not really going to be much, it's just going to be me talking to you guys and hanging out here. Yeah it's, not, yeah, it's pretty warm out here. I know I keep saying it, but yeah, it's true. It, it really does feel pretty nice out here. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I'm probably going to end the... I'm not going to end the vlog, but I'm, we're going to pause the video again. And maybe I might see if I can walk over to Memorial Arena. And maybe I'll vlog there for a little bit. So I might see... So I might talk to you guys again when I'm at more Memorial Arena. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so now I'm at the Fergie Jenkins field. I'm literally just standing by the bleachers right now. Because it's like the only spot around here that's like dry. Because it actually started raining again. Like I don't know if you guys can see, but if you guys can see the puddles, there's drops coming down. Yeah, because it's starting to rain again a little bit. So yeah, I'm just standing under here and I thought this would be a good place to vlog. And you guys can hear a lot of birds are chirping. Oh yeah, the birds are making noise. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm just standing at the Fergie Jenkins field. Uh, I was, I was going to be at, go to Memorial Arena, but it started raining, so I decided to come here. It's the closest spot where it's like dry, and so yeah. But I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. I know this vlog's not really going to be much, but I hope you guys still enjoy. Um, yeah, it's not too bad right here at the Fergie Jenkins field. It's not too bad. Now, I'm still wondering, what is the name of our new IBL team going to be called? Because if you guys have been watching my vlogs for like the last like year or so, I told you guys that Chatham was going to get an inter-county baseball league team, and we do have one now, but we're still trying to get a new name for our IBL team, because originally our inter-county baseball league team was going to be called the Chatham Ken Blackbirds, but apparently they had to you know, get rid of that name because they thought it was offensive of some sort, you know, cancel culture. And so now they're trying to figure out a new name for our new inter-county baseball league team, and I don't know what it's going to be yet, and I hope they get a new name soon because apparently uh, our new team is supposed to start playing here at the Fergie Jenkins Field for their first game uh, next year in May in 2024 so yeah hopefully we get a new name for our Intercounty Baseball League team and kind of what I was thinking was maybe we can call it the Chatham King Cubs because of Fergie Jenkins or do some sort do get another name that resembles another bird like Crow or Raven or something like that but yeah because I think earlier this year like when I was in Florida um, I did get the, I did hear the news about us having our new name for our Intercounty Baseball League team. It was to be called the Chatham Camp Blackbirds, but they got rid of that name, and I kind of don't know why, but I'm guessing it's because of, it was offensive to some people or whatever. But like our hockey team in Chatham is the Chatham Maroons, and the chat and the and the term maroon has a different as like a kind of meaning that's like kind of offensive, but I guess. They think Chatham Maroons is a good name for a hockey team, but yet Blackbirds is a good name for a baseball team, which I think is kind of stupid. In my opinion, I think we should just have Chatham Kent Blackbirds as our baseball team name since our hockey team name is the Chatham Maroons. It makes sense, right? But yeah, I'm just going to move somewhere, guys, because it is kind of raining where my bag is. Don't worry, my bag's just over there. I'm not leaving it, so yeah. But yeah, I'm just chilling here for now. And I really hope that when I walk back home, the rain doesn't pick up any heavier and doesn't get bad because, you know, I still got to walk home, like, you know, all that. I still got to walk home, so hopefully I don't get too rained out or hopefully I don't get soaked. So, yeah, I'm not going to vlog here for a, long, for a while, guys. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you guys for a little bit more and then probably when I get home, I'm going to end the vlog. So, yeah. But still, like, I wonder what our name for our new Intercounty Baseball League team is going to be called. Because they still haven't decided on a name yet. And hopefully we do soon. Like, hopefully maybe in the summertime or the fall we get a new name. Or hopefully a few months before our first game happens. Like, maybe in the wintertime, like New Year's. Uh, hopefully they'll get a new name for our Intercounty Baseball League team. 
But like I said, like since our hockey team in Chatham is the Chatham Maroons, what's wrong with Blackbirds? I mean, if Maroons has a history behind the name that's like, eh, then I don't know what Blackbirds, you know, I don't know what's different about it. Like, our hockey team is called the Chatham Maroons, so having our baseball team called the Chatham, Be Chatham Ken Blackbirds, kind of not really too different, but I guess it is, so, yeah. But, oh well. Hopefully, very soon, we get a new name for our county Baseball League team, and hopefully it's a really good name. Because that would be really nice. and Yeah. But I just can't wait to see, like, get, like baseball games happening here of Intercounty Baseball League. Like, with, like, any other team from the IBL coming to Chatham to play here at the stadium against our team. Like, next year. Oh, that's going to be sick. Like, I, I, I cannot wait for that. Because, you know, at Memorial Arena, like, a lot of hockey teams that are part of the same league as the Maroons, they come to Chatham to play Memorial Arena. So, with our new IBL team... Other teams from the IBL are going to come here and play against our IBL team. Basically, same concept as hockey teams that are in the same league as the Maroons play the Memorial Arena. Uh, other baseball teams that are in the same league as our IBL team are going to play here against our team. So, yeah. But yeah, it is starting to rain again. I'm probably going to head home soon. So. Uh, I'll pause the video again, guys, uh, and next time I'll vlog a little bit when I get back home, and I'll be in my room, and then I'll uh, end the vlog, so catch you guys when we're back at my house. Okay, guys, I'm home now. I, as you see, I'm in my room now. Uh, I, literally, I literally just got home, like, maybe a few minutes ago, and now it's 6.27, so it's almost 6.30 right now. Uh, it did kind of stop raining while I was walking home from the Frederick Jenkins Field, but, yeah, I think it's still probably going to rain again later tonight, but... Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if it doesn't. Like, if it doesn't rain for the rest of the night, then, hey, it'd be pretty good. Uh, but right now, it's just cloudy, and actually on my laptop, it says it's 19 degrees outside. But I think on my phone, it says 16, so it's not really accurate. It's, like, kind of between 16 and 19 right now, but it's just not too bad. But, yeah, I'm just on my laptop now. Uh, I actually have laundry, like, right there. I'm going to be putting it that way soon because I did laundry last night, and I'm going to be having supper soon. Um, yeah, so I'm just on my laptop now, I'm literally just about to watch YouTube and all that, and then I'm gonna, at, literally after I film this part of the vlog, I'm gonna edit the thumbnail and edit this vlog, and then I'll get it uploaded for you guys before midnight tonight, or before it gets dark out tonight, so yeah, at least you guys will be able to watch this video soon. Um, and before I end the vlog, guys, I actually have something I wanted to show you. So, I think it was yesterday, uh, I decided to make a I decided to make this custom poster for Our Lady Peace to play at the Capitol Theater in Chatham and I actually think it looks pretty good I have a picture of it pull up right here as you can see this is what I made uh, I used a format from a Capitol Theater event and I edited it and I put I just made I just put the random date for September 2nd I just did it for like a random date and I put the picture of Our Lady Peace and their logo right there Honestly, it actually looks pretty legit. Like, I'm not going to lie. It actually looks like a real poster. Because I, I was like, huh. You know, Our Lady Peace could play in Chatham. Like, there's, we've had a lot of bands, you know, come to Chatham and play. Like, for example, like, we've had The Trues, Sam Roberts Band, Finger Eleven, I'm Mother Earth, The Tea Party, you know, Big Sugar, Crash Test Dummies, and, you know, like, Kid Rock came to Chatham. And we had a whole lot of bands come to Chatham. Even like Sheepdogs, the Arkells, and like Theory of a Dead Man, and like Default, and like all those all those guys. So, so with with all with Chatham having having all those bands come here, I think it'd be cool if Our Lady Peace came to Chatham and play like the Capitol Theater because I think that'd be pretty cool. And I know I saw them in Windsor back in February, but I think it'd be really cool if Our Lady Peace came to Chatham and played the Capitol Theater, where I'd be able to see them in Chatham. And honestly, I could see it. Like, I could see it. Like, Our Lady Peace plays, like, small venues and small theaters. And so they could play in Chatham. You know, like I said, we've had the Trues, Sam Roberts Band, Finger Eleven, I Mother Earth, the Tea Parties, uh, Crash Test Dummies, Big Sugar, and Kid Rock, and etc., right? So it would be really cool if Our Lady Peace came to Chatham and played the Capitol Theater. And I think this poster would be kind of like what it would look like if it was actually real, but it would also be, maybe it would also be, like, a newer, like, poster. So, yeah. I mean, I'd be surprised if I actually found out if Our Lady Peace was actually were to play in Chatham at the Capitol Theater sometime later this year, or like in the summertime or in the fall, or even sometime next year in 2024, you know? Like, you never know. 
Our Lady Peace could play in Chatham at the Capitol Theater. So if you guys actually know people who can get bands to play at the Capitol Theater in Chatham, get them to get Our Lady Peace to play at the Capitol Theater in Chatham, please. Get Our Lady Peace to play in Chatham because I would love that so much. And if I ever do hear that Our Lady, Our, if I ever do hear that Our Lady Peace plays at the Capitol Theater in Chatham, I would definitely go. Because when I went to when I went to see them in Windsor, uh, I went with my mom and dad. So if Our Lady Peace played at the Capitol Theater in Chatham, if they ever do, maybe that maybe this time I would go with Dustin. It would be my second time seeing Our Lady Peace, and yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Because you know, me and Dustin saw I'm Mother Earth and Finger Eleven at the Capitol Theater back in 2019. So. Let's say in 2024, Our Lady Peace plays at the Capitol Theater in Chatham and me and Dustin go see them. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Do you guys think that's a good poster? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of that poster? Because I think it's pretty cool. And also, guys, uh, you know how early in the vlog I told you that Incubus is going to be playing at the Caesars Windsor Coliseum in uh, August? Well, there's actually another band that's going to be playing at the Coliseum at Caesars Windsor on June 2nd, actually. The band Marina's Trench is actually going to be playing at Caesars Windsor on June 2nd. This is a poster of it. I haven't pulled up on Facebook, but yeah, this is the poster for Marina's Trench. And it's at Caesars Windsor, and it's going to be on June 2nd. So yeah, Marina's Trench is going to be playing in Windsor in a couple months. Like two months. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I thought I should tell you guys that because I thought that was pretty cool. And I do I do really think it would be cool if Arlie Peace comes to Chatham and play the Capitol Theater. Like, Our Lady Peace needs to come to Chatham. They need to. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, I'm probably just getting the vlog here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to smash the, smash the like button, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Uh, if you guys want to check out Sunday's vlog, uh, put a link to it in the description down below. And if you guys want to check out the April Fool's vlog I made with Dustin, uh, those links, the link to that video in the description will be in the description down below as well. Sorry if I'm stuttering. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and my TikTok. Uh, their links will be in the description down below. Go check out my band's Instagram, my band's TikTok. Their links will be in the description down below. Go check out my Railfan channel as well as my walking channel. Their links will be in the description down below as well. Stay tuned for Friday's vlog, guys, and stay tuned for the Easter vlog on Sunday. Those vlogs are coming up next. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.